All right, we'll go back up and uh, get this in right quick. Get this recorded just in case. We're gonna be dealing with the three uh, minds. It's called my yacht, the first chapter, the balance of the, of the three minds. Um, we know that the body reflects the mind, but they only tell us about the one mind, which is the mind upstairs. But Romans 12, two tells us otherwise, as well as also Proverbs 23, seven, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So since that is the case, we have to go to the science of the heart. Why as a man thinketh in his heart? Well, we find out that the heart too has his own brain. The conscious mind stores the part of the creative force. All right, matter of fact, it's in the right articular section of the heart, according to the Rosicrucians, all right? According to this article, let your heart talk to your brain. It tells you that the heart has and contains a little brain in its own right. 40,000 neurons is, are there and the communication between the heart and the mind goes back and forth between each other, all right? There's two kinds of neurons in the brain, well, excuse me, in the heart. One of them has a tip end of sympathetic nerve fiber. The main part cell body of these nerves are in the chain of ganglia along the spine. These nerve fibers speed up the heart and make it beat um, more strongly. The other is postganglionic um, neurons of the, of the parasympathetic nervous system. In this case, the neuron cells bodies are in the heart wall and just under the surface covering um, the epicardium uh, of the heart. The preganglionic nerve or neurons um, in the solar, uh, in the, excuse me, in the spinal cord, um, actually is right below the solar plexus, feeds into these postganglionic um, neurons in the heart by way of the vagus nerve. All right, the vagus nerve is very important. We'll get to that in a minute. These neurons slow down the heartbeat, but they do not affect the strength of the contraction very much. This is Tony to Kent, um, Saladin, um, professor of biology. All right, so as you know, that negative emotion can create nervous system chaos, but positive emotions do the opposite. Human heart magnetic field can be measured several feet away from the body. All right, in fact, that is the expansion of your auric field in which that emits about maybe three feet for the average person outside. So if your arms stretch out three feet from your body and you go in a circular motion, you will find that that's about the range of the average person. In fetal development, the heart forms and start beating before the brain begins to develop. The positive emotions can increase the brain at um, ability to make good decisions. But positive emotions does that. Positive emotions create psychological benefits in your body and can boost your immune system by focusing on positive emotions. A mother's brain wave can synchronize to her baby's heartbeat even when they are just only a few feet apart. Well, that goes along with married couple as well as couples that's been together for a long period of time therefore the science of a healthy body and brain starts with the heart who is the mediator and the mental or mind being in unison the heart has nothing to do with producing emotions per se however it does respond to emotion through the automatic nervous system love fear tranquility, and other emotions can affect the heart rate. But there's another brain called the abdominal brain, the emotional brain, which come in, which works in conjunction with the heart and brain. It too has neurons. I'll build on this later. Um, in Mentu or Mantu martial arts, Qigong, um, Tai Chi, Wing Chun Kido speaks on these areas of the three treasures. They call it the Dantians. Right, the three Dantians. Now, in the metaphysical book, You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay, she shows that happiness, um, helpfully, helpfulness, 
optimism and contentment appears to reduce the risk and the limit of severity of cardiovascular disease, um, pulmonary disease, diabetes, hypertension, colds, and upper respiratory infections. At the same time, depression, the opposite of happiness, can worsen heart disease, diabetes, and a host of other illnesses. So your mind plays a part in the science of health. And I'm saying all this because you as a herbalist will have to contend with people who uh, will have mental issues, emotional issues in which that will have to be healed, not just with herbs, but also with vitamins and minerals. So we have to get into that science too. Scientifically, Dr. Candice Pert rediscovered, as I say, the role of neuron peptides, which were protein-like molecules by neurons to communicate with each other. In other words, there are chemical messengers called neurotransmitters that carry information from the brain to the cells, body. All your thoughts and feelings get translated to chemicals that fire off throughout your body, altering the chemical com composition and behavior of your cells. According to um, Deepak Chopra in um, Ages, Body, Time, is Mind, he writes, without the feeling, there is no molecule. Without the molecule, there is no feeling. Whenever thought goes, a chemical goes with it. Your biology is your biography. By paying attention to both the history of the symptoms as well as if effect its effects, you can begin to rediscover deeper and more subtle even more subtle causes, one on uh, which invertibly um, hold the key to health or healing. The human genome contains about 90 genes that encode precursors of neuropeptides. At present, about 100 different peptides are known to be released by different populations of neurons in the human brain. All right, so you look at the areas in the brain, the cerebral cortex area, and et cetera, and we find that in the cerebral cortex, sounds the alarm whenever there's a form of a perceived light threatening or stressful activity. However, seemingly unimportant events can also cause a stress on reaction because the brain via brain, um, the mind via brain is unable to tell the difference between apparently reality and fantasy, imagine threat. All right, truthfully, it is all an illusion. Illusion meaning change. Therefore, you can um, create your apparent reality or destiny cause and effect It was karma, all right? Your soul or rather your Lord or personal savior, higher mind, soul, awaken Christ, God, uses the brain via the endocrine gland cells as its magic wand to manifest all needs, desires, and wants into being. So your chakras, which are your endocrine gland system, your pineal gland, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, your thymus gland, your adrenal glands, your pancreas, spleen, um, uterus, and ovaries, testes, and um, prostate gland. Uh, these are the seven major glands in the body, all right, in which that produces what is known as your chakras. The word chakras come from Shinkara, which is talking about your endocrine glands, all right? There's a nexus of nerve bundles at the core of each of the endocrine glands in which that emits a light. The light is in the form of a rainbow pattern all right, stars are the condensations of the minds of our ancestors, which came from the previous universe. At the end of the previous universe, our ancestors expanded their mind beyond measure until they encompassed the whole universe. Thus, um, that process of expansion caused an apparent contraction of their universe until it was reduced to about the size of a single planet. In stages in the empty space surrounding the new earth created the seven substances, magnetism, electricity, light, heat, energy, and etc., which eventually formed the new stars after many trillions of years. All right, this is from the book Black Science. All right. Or Black Root Science.
So right here, we go to Job 325. For the thing which I feared the most has now come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come upon me. So Job already gave the science of what happens when you think negative thoughts and you utilize fear. That which that you fear comes upon you. Hence, a sad feeling will influence the cells of the tear ducts and makes them produce tears, or a scary feeling will cause the adrenal glands to produce the hormone on the adrenaline, um, give you goosebumps, make your hair stand on end. Life can sometimes seem too, too stress, stressful to um, deal with. Nevertheless, stressful trauma does not necessarily equal illness, but expressive fears and anxiety surrounding trauma can lead to physical problems. In itself, stress is neither good nor bad. The difference is our perception of and coping um, ability. Obviously, we cannot avoid every single crisis. So we can't avoid every single crisis, all right? So, so what can you do to become more conscious of your feelings while well, acknowledging and releasing them as they arise or as soon as possible afterwards rather than re repressing or denying them? The body hears and responds to your thoughts and words. Therefore, positive reinforcements by way of prayers, affirmations, and or decrees, hasis, hakus, mantras, words of sound and power, and etc., cetera, are necessary daily. This is until the mind is mastered. The all is mind, the universe is mental. Thoughts leads to manifestation of things and events. Thoughts create our state of existence and the quality of our experience here on earth. Therefore, be responsible for everything you create by being responsible for everything that you think. All right. Now, we look over to Einstein and he says, everything is energy. So the all is mind and the universe is energy. Prana is everything in the universe. Prana is the universal life force energy. So everything is everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get the reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy, this is physics. Right? And this is the truth of the statement. Uh, match the vibratory rate of that which you want that you're thinking of, and it can come true. If you can think it, you can achieve it. That's That's been the whole signs that they taught, has been taught. So you can perceive a situation as one that you can deal with, one that excites your creativity and it makes you feel empowered, then you will not have a negative um, stress response. This perception of yourself is based on your personal emotional history. It may be due to past childhood experiences and conditioning, belief, religion, or your social economic uh, um, environment. But if this um, is your perception of your ability to cope, the cause is a stress response in your body rather than any external factor, you have psycho emotional symptoms began before the physical ones. It normally takes about two years before the physical illness manifests. So here you had the backbone of Osiris, which is known actually as your um, double strand helix. All right, adenine, thymine, guanine, cetocine. These are the four basic amino acids in which that forms the building blocks for life. Every single animal on planet Earth has these four amino acids. And oftentimes they are 
um, what's the word I can say? They are um, structured different. Similarly, but different. Russian biophysicist um, Pajot uh, Gurjava or Jajav, Gurjajav, and his research team has been investigating the scientific basis for phenomena such as clairvoyance, spontaneous acts of healing, the system uh, success of affirmations, auras, and uh, potential of groups of people. Um, to influence weather patterns um, through their intention. Um, so that proves right there that we have the ability in order to control weather. Okay. So the great discovery of our generation is the human being can alter their lives by altering the attitude of mind. As you think, so shall you be. This is William James. Now, according to research shows, we can heal with vibration, frequency, and sound. All right. All right. The sound for the pineal gland is the I sound. I the I sound. The next sound is the Y sound, which is for the medulla oblongata. Y. The next sound is for the pituitary gland. E. A. The next sound is the AH sound. AH. Uh, All right. The next sound is A H A. Uh, the next one is the K A H. Go. The next one is Shh. That's from the liver. All right, the next one is O sound. O. The last one is the U sound. You. You. All right, so those are the sounds in which that resonates your major endocrine glands and organs in your body. All right, this is exactly what is written by um, Arjun Walia. Walia states that facts, multiple studies and examples have shown how sound frequency vibration can literally alter physical material matter. Research has also said that sound frequency and vibration can also be used significant, can also be used a significant healing method for various um, ailments.
All right. So you get to cymatics. It's very important topic. Illustrates how sound vibrations move through a particular medium such as water, air, or sand as the result of directly altering physical matter. It demonstrates how matter particles adjust to different sounds and different frequencies of sound. The sound healing methods are often used by shamans who employ different um, drag, uh, drumming and singing to access these trance. All right, so sound healing, um, basically methods are often used by shamans who employ drum singing to access trans states. And also sound therapy is getting more popular and it can be um, have very medical applications. So um, you can teach your clients the science of these particular sounds. All right. Hey brother, uh, for, for some reason the screen just went away. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's see, it's on share. About now? Uh, no, no, it's still not up. Still can't see it. No, I can't see it. Come here. Come here. You can't see it, God. Uh, no, no, not yet, God. No, I don't know that. All right, I continue on. Um, cymatics. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Cymatics is very important topic, interesting topic. It illustrates how sound frequencies move through a particular medium, such as water, air, or sand, and as a result, directly alter physical matter. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
because I don't know why it's not showing because I don't went out and everything. Oh, okay. um, you might have to hit your screen then, God. Because my screen is showing it. I, I might have to hit yours. Um, but this is, this is a daily health protocol that I did for a person. Um, this is Brother Carol. I did this for him. I told him about the mind-body medicine is another form of complementary and alternative um, medicine that a few of, um, that has few to no adverse effects and may be helpful in treatment of cancer. The mind-body medicine uh, consists of therapies that involve the mind capacity to involve the body, and they include such techniques as prayer, hypnotherapy, meditation, imagery, and visualization, and music and art therapy. Such pain is the most common symptoms of bone cancer. These methods, uh, mind-body techniques, methods can be helpful to direct the patient's um, attention away from their pain. Um, another complementary and alternative med medicine approach known as energy medicine is based on the energy fields that surround and permeates the body. Uh, this style of treatment includes such uh, practices as Reiki and Qigong and Tai Chi and pranic energy work. These are what is known as energy modalities, energy modalities. All right, so um, the Reiki practitioner um, believe that the body has an inner power that controls wellness. Practitioners uh, try to access the power with gentle touch. Some call it touch therapy in the medical field, all right, to bring along healing. Matter of fact, three times quicker um, healing takes place as far as doing Reiki, all right? Now, what is Reiki? Reiki is utilizing universal life force energy and using your body, in particular your hair, your mind, pineal gland in particular, acting as a step down transform of electromagnetic energy to the heart. And from the heart, the energy comes out through the arms in order to um, master the mind body experience. That's the key, all right? Uh, we recommend that a person learn Qigong you show them some movements of Qigong. Um, amazingly, Qigong goes very well with the medicinal science of herbs, all right? These herbs have a good experience when utilized along with Qigong, which means cultivating life force energy. And Qigong is nothing more than movement slowly all right, slow movement of your of your body, and particularly your arms and your legs. All right, is actually the origin of what we now know as Tai Chi, but Qigong helps to cultivate and cultivate the life force energy, the breath, which involves meditation and breathing, and was shown in a small study involving people with different types of cancer to help control inflammation help use the conventional medical treatment. And this may be useful for bone cancer patients who often experience pain and swelling in or near the bone, all right? Um, consume adequate amounts of vitamin A by including dark green vegetables such as spinach, kale, mustard greens, collard greens, lettuce, cucumbers, arugula, chard, broccoli, green peppers, pears, apples, limes, lemons, key limes, and etc. Um, organic raw food is light, is living electrical food. Um, you can get foods such as yellow, orange, and red fruit, squash, pumpkins, orange, grapefruit, lemons, um, bananas, apricots, um, nectarines, tangerines, mangoes, peaches, cantaloupes, papayas, Pineapple, star fruit, carrots, 
uh, sweet potatoes, um, as I said, red apples, um, cherries, red green grapes, um, red peppers, red uh, pink grapefruit, red um, onions, tomatoes, beets, watermelons, goji berries, and black, um, blue black foods such as blueberries, blackberries, um, Concord grapes, purple grapes, seeded, Concord grapes, plums, um, elderberry, uh, um, purple figs, grapes, black olives, um, cabbage, eggplants, and vegetables in the daily, uh, basically five fruits and five vegetables daily, raw, organic if possible. Significant A in the body is known to kill um, bone cancer cells. So this is how we write up a whole program or what is known as a protocol for a person that they will have something to remember to go by on a daily basis, All right? Vitamin A, if they are not getting enough fruits and vegetables, green leafy vegetables and fruits, antioxidants, then what we would recommend is that they need vitamin A in liquid form. It has a 96 to a 98% absorption rate. Ensure generous amounts of sun exposure daily between six to 9 a.m. in the morning. Good um, time to sun gaze too, daily seven to 8 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time or Central or um, Pacific. The UVB rays from the sun helps in making vitamin D under the skin, which in turn reduce the rate of bone cancer um, manipulation um, subsequently. Green tea is highly recommended as one of the natural remedies of this bone cancer. It is uh, widely acclaimed for its anti-cancer and oxidant um, properties. All right, now we go to aloe vera, but it actually is aloe ferox, aloe vera's cousin, which contains um, chemical compounds for allorides, which are known for its anti-cancer properties. So aloe ferox, as well as aloe um, vera, all right? Both of them roots go deep in the ground, but the aloe ferox roots go 90 feet down into the ground, so it absorbs a lot of minerals, nutrients, vitamins. Herbs such as golden seal, chaparral, red clover, clove, um, black walnut, chickweed, comfrey, wormwood, um, alfalfa, rose hemp, oats, bladder rat, cat claw, reishi's mushrooms are quite beneficial in treating bone cancer. These herbs can be used as a tincture. Dried herbs or extracts. All right, tea can also be uh, prepared by boiling a teaspoon of the herb in water and wait for 20 minutes before drinking. All right, herbs for detox or Casa Grata, Senna, Fingergreek. Right. CBD oil is needed for pain along with valerian root, kava kava, as well as lobelia. Right. Kale is a green leafy vegetable featured in various um, meals for more um, nutri um, nutritional value than spinach. Kale may be uh, uh, used to help improve on blood glucose and prevent cancer. And so the benefits of sea vegetables such as kale, dulce, wakame, come in. Kelp, uh, sea moss. These particular herbs prevent aging, promote um, growth of healthy hair, maintain 
um, useful elasticity in skin, promote healthy cholesterol levels, resolve mineral deficiencies, toxify the body of heavy metals, pollutants, and carcinogens, inhabits the overgrowth of pathogenic, pathogenic viruses, juice, and bacteria, balance thyroid functions, Right, lubricate the digestive tract to healthy elimination. All right, here are some, as you said, the sea vegetables such as dulce, lazarac, kelp, corella, spirulina, um, nori, seaweed. All right, so all right, so that would be the way in which that you would write up a um, a protocol for a person, so that they would be able to um have something to look over throughout the week. You know, like I said, I personally would recommend getting some type of liquid. Vitamin A, liquid vitamin C, liquid vitamin B complex, liquid um, vitamin um, D3, you know, liquid. All right, liquid. All right, so. Um, I know you can't see the screen, but. Yeah. Yeah, still can um, still can see the screen. Well, it should be in the recording. It should be recorded. So um I'll send oh, you the, okay. I'll send you the recordings once they download, okay? And you should still oh, okay. be yeah, awesome. you, you should still be able to see it. Oh, okay. All right, great. Yeah, that, all right, that'll be great. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right, so um let's see if I get to it. All right, so right here. Shh. All right. Through exploring the vibratory behavior of DNA, Russian scientists was able to use certain frequency patterns to alter the genetic information itself. Even more astonishing, the experience proven prove that one can use words and sentences to influence DNA. This explains scientifically how the body can be programmed by language, words, and thoughts, finally lending credence to the use of um, affirmations and, hyp and um, hypnosis. Scientists also prove that use of frequencies can pair chromosome damage, can repair chromosome damage by X-rays and actually reprogram DNA Shh. by applying vibrations to the DNA informational patterns. They successfully transform frog embryos to salamander embryos. Damn, they changed the damn species. <laughs> Scientists have stated that 90% of DNA has classified as junk DNA, and only 10% of our DNA is used to build protein. Now, it is the subset of DNA that is the interesting to Western researchers and is being examined and categorized. The other 90% are considered junk DNA. Prior to new research they had published in late 2012, junk DNA was believed to have no biological function. So they didn't even think about junk DNA. All right, which actually is the 10 other strands of our DNA, which would give us 12 strands of DNA um, physically and etherically, which would give us 24 strands. So just like that, um, basically, like they once thought that uh, the melanin and the pineal gland, et cetera, um, didn't have a function. All right. However, as it turned out, what Western scientists mistook as junk DNA 
indeed had a biological function, of course, that uh, they found that roughly 80% of the human genome had at least one biochemical activity involved or associated with it. Keep in mind that junk DNA could have an enormous amount of biological and non-biological function um, that uh, we have not yet discovered. All right. All right, it is now speculated um, that DNA is multi-dimensional and connected to non-physical phenomenon and other aspects of ourselves. The studies found a number of hidden switches and signals embedded throughout the entire length of human DNA. Information now with DNA is stored as codes using four different chemical bases. Kept in mind that the human DNA consists of approximately 3 billion bases. The sequence of the bases determines what information is available as building blocks for maintaining an organism. Say junk DNA is actually the um, genetic driver's seat of the human body that is responsible for regulating the activities of over 20,000 genes. Equally excited is the news that scientists found out that our DNA can produce magnetized wormholes. Wormholes are normally highly unstable and maintain only a fraction of seconds. But under certain circumstances, stable wormholes can organize themselves into a vacuum domain where gravity can transform into electricity. Vacuums domain are self-radiated balls of ionized gas, what we call orbs, that can that contain considerable amounts of energy. They have been seen in the sky, often mistaken for UFOs. Right? Russians have discovered that these balls of light can be guided by thought. These vacuum domains can also be produced in our brains. This explains the golden white orb or halos around spiritual master's head or light uh, effect on photographs, especially involving healing work. These phenomena has to do with wormholes in hypercommunication with energies from outside our time space structure. In the past, early gen um, generations that have such experience with hypercommunication and um, visible vacuum uh, domain speaks of angels and angels of light, extraterrestrials, extraterrestrial beings, um, wormholes, or the microscopic equivalent of the so-called Einstein Rosen Bridge in the vicinity of black holes left by burnt out stars. So amazingly, what they're telling you is that you can open portals. This is what this is telling you. One of the ways to open portals is through the science of sound as sound is what is utilized to form geometrical shapes. Okay. So in other words, your DNA, your ancestral composite genes, which is your internal DNA, ancestral data bank or personal concentrated memories have a link to the living relatives, external DNA, or collective ancestral memories, all right, on the various astral plane, which is the astral, uh, which is the astral, which are stars, interconnectively called the realm of form or the Akashic records, known as Universal Library via the hypercommunication. Scientists have already stated in their obser um, observation that man is a living star. Now. This goes back to the fact that your body is 93% stardust material and every atom in your body was fused in stars in the supernova. So the death of stars give rise to life. The atoms in our bodies are traceable to stars that manufacture them in the cores and explode their rich ingredients across our galaxy billions of years ago. For this reason, we are biologically connected to every other living thing in the world. We are chemically connected to every molecule on earth and we are alchemically connected to all the atoms in the universe. We're not figuratively, but literally stardust. 
So we know that over 40,000 to 300,000 tons, depending on the solar flare activity of the sun or stardust energy, particles, bits of information knowledge falls to the planet Earth daily. Okay. Now, um, basically what that means is that when these coronal mass ejections, solar flare activities, also known as super flares, mega flares, bombard the planet Earth, it is changing and mutating your DNA. All right? And it is causing your melanin or melanocytes to act as black holes and absorb various energy sources and convert these absorbed energies into reusable energy. And this includes such as a music vibration, which the sound vibration has been changed from 432 Hertz to 440 Hertz. All right. All right, so music waves or vibration, sound waves, the sun rays, sun heat, light rays, et cetera, for bodily functions. On the other hand, DNA attracts these bits of information, stardust particles, and passes them on to our consciousness. This lays the groundwork for proving hypercommunication and psychic phenomena and understanding their information and basically where it comes from. It comes from the stars, where, who are the ancestors, the condensation of our ancestors are the stars. Hold on, God. All right, God.
Okay. All right. So basically what we found out is that um, everything is made from stardust, particularly us. And we have the ability because of our consciousness to transform from mere men to super niggas, <laughs> as we would say, all right? <laughs> and um, super niggas or super nagas is actually talking about the fact that utilizing our Kundalini internal power to raise through our chakra system, which are our endocrine gland system, um, to promote harmonial balance and then create a super hyper communication between our 12 pair cranial nerves in which that impends this light upon the pineal gland to create a frequency in which that becomes a halo over top of our heads in which that what is called the golden dragon body and once that is produced then um we have um the ability in order to now have to stay on this plane of existence. And this is proof right here. In the Holy Quran, circle seven, it says right here um, in chapter nine, Jesus and Barada, together they read the sacred book. It says, and in their native plane, all creatures are supplied with nutrition or nutriments from the ethers of their planes. All right. So Dr. Um, Beretta Fox had proven that blood tests that some people have actually developed new strands of DNA. While we are finding out that there are um, other um, helixes that are being formed in double strands of DNA, um, which is normally two strands call you, um, they intertwine, but there are children and people who are being born with three strands and eventually it will move into 12 strands of DNA and eventually into um, 12 physical strands and then 12 spiritual strands, which is nothing more than the awakening of our junk DNA. That's essentially what it is, the awakening of our junk DNA, yeah. all right? Um, and basically what is going on is the healing factor comes in with um, the Qigong, the Tai Chi, the Reiki, the Pranic Healing, these energy modalities, um, herbalism, of course, and mastering these particular sciences. Now the herbs are important because it helps to keep the physical body healthy as you go through these particular changes and mutations, um, natural mutations coming from the sun. Now there's artificial um, mutations in which that is happening too. That's because people are eating a lot of the non-GM, um, they eat a lot of GMO food, okay? They eat a lot of GMO food, genetically modified organisms, all right? So this is causing um, problems for those, um, digestive problems starting out, all right? All right now in the book, solar plexus and what is called solar plexus or abdominal brain, the solar plexus or abdominal brain is written by Theron um, Dumont. The, um, also there's another book called The Complete System of Self-Healing by Dr. Stephen T. Chang, C-H-A-N-G, Chang, Chang. He says, if the energy circulates from the center to the extremities, one will remain in perfect health. If one is furthermore stretches and twists, it will keep the body um, trim, right? So this is why for the yoga or what's called stretches and twists, um, the yoga helps to keep the body um, malleable, um, not to have arthritis, keep the body trim, so forth and so on, right? So we normally see consciousness is in the head or the brain or mind. However, awareness is in the whole physical body. In order to um, experiment and live in awareness, we have to shift the emphasis from the ego 
which is from the pituitary gland in the head, which is the personality to the self, which is the, um, the Kundalini Shakti in the belly button, on the belly. The lower back is the center of movement situated at the lower sacrum bone area called the hara, which extends to the lower stomach area, to the navel area, which is called the lower dantian. So this is why a whole body awareness is critical at the first step on the path of wisdom of knowing thyself, in particular, your physical body. And you must be obtained by all you feel, um, basically um, with fulfilled their uh, full human potential. So the brain mind is the slowest, the heart and blood mind is quicker, but the belly sacrum mind is quickest. All right. In crisis, the body mind creates the um, called the primal brain or the abdominal brain takes over. This is your survival is connected to the reptilian portion of your brain. So the belly sacral mind is connected to the reptilian portion of the brain in your head, which is based on fight or flight on your survival. So this is the quickest response. This is what when learning martial arts actually ends up um, this is what you end up um, utilizing is the reptilian portion of the brain and the belly sacrum mind, which is the quickest. All right. And we know it's the quickest. All right. Because when sexual arousal takes place, um, the phallus and the clitoris of the woman automatically becomes erect. So energy has the ability to form there the quickest. All right. This is why according to the Sufi traditions, man is forced into a crisis of mortal danger in order to force a shift from the left body into awareness. For the average person today, awareness is stunning because they are trapped in the left brain. So we have to shift from the left brain into body awareness. Everybody is so damn linear. Illnesses then results from the stagnation of too much order, mayat, and not enough chaos, noon, and emotion. Too much day, left brain, optical brain, ego, pituitary gland is the seat of the ego, and not enough night, right brain. Frontal brain and self, uh, kutalini shakti to the pineal gland, and the conscious ego pituitary gland is cut off from the larger transpersonal self. The left and the right brain are blocked from the left brain usually dominates um, and creates an artificial um, symmetry called the great father or called the great architect, the, the uh, master builder of the matrix. Right, called Adolabra for Ogun, Jehovah, Put Patah, Tahuti, all these various names, or in the Gnostic um, scriptures, Dogon traditions is uh, um, as it's called, Ogo. Right? So, these are the things in which that we have to watch out for. Is that ego, that left hemisphere of the brain, that linear thinking, when we can utilize the right hemisphere of the brain, the oracle, the great mother of the matrix called Sophia in the Gnostic scriptures. All right, that's, that's what it's symbolic to. And see, what we find out about the power of the mind is real simple. If you listen to music, studies have proven that listening to music strengthens the brain and literally changes the structure. Thoughts are real. Thoughts cause biological and physiological effects. Your body responds to mental input as if you were physically, as it was physically real. If you think somebody's going to harm you, then your body will promote and produce um, cortisone and adrenaline. 
This is why they have the conspiracy theories out. Not that the conspiracy theories are wrong, but to be inundated with conspiracy theories causes these problems. Loss of fatty acids, EPA and DHA are linked to depression, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's, senility and dementia. All right. The brain is 66.66667% fat. Your brain is two thirds fat. Myelin, the protective sheath covering your neurons is 70% fat. Eating fatty fish or green leafy vegetables, olive oil, avocados, chia seeds, flax seeds, nuts, replenishes your neurons and your brain cells. Right, so these, this is the power of your amazing brain. You have 70,000 thoughts a day. And, you know, if you want to remain healthy, I would say more than 60,000 um, will have to be on positive things. <laughs> In other words, it will have to be the majority of your thoughts a day. So boost your brain power with meditation. It's proven to increase IQ, relieve stress, and promote higher learning levels. The conscious mind controls our brain only 5% of the day, whereas the subconscious mind holds our attention and thoughts 95% of the day. So if there's 70,000 thoughts in your mind and they're running uh, under your subconscious mind 95% of the time, and if 70,000 of those thoughts is negative, then damn, you effing yourself up. And this is what people often do, and they don't realize it. So this is the purpose for positive affirmations um, every day. Like for example, I study Sufism, which is um, Islamic um, higher um, mysticism. And within um, our training, we use particular um, words, the 99 attributes of Allah, all right? Understanding that Allah is within us, in fact, Allah is the divine soul, my God, my Lord and personal savior, which is inside my pineal gland. And as we just been saying, whole body awareness becomes a law down into the cells. So we chant certain words on a daily basis. All right. And these words that we chant, number one is la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah means nothing would exist if Allah didn't create it. La ilaha illallah, 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 la ilaha illallah. Then we chant, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, O Allah. Then we chant, Ya Huck. Ya Huck. All right. Al Huck. We say, Yahuk, Yahuk, O truth, Yahuk, O O truth, Huk, H A Q Q, which is pronounced H A K K or H Q Q, Huk, which means in Arabic, O truth. You call in the truth into your life. You call in, um. Allah into your life. And basically what you call it into your life, you actually is awaken that which is already there. That is nothing more than principles for the soul. Your soul is everlasting, immortal, eternal, forever. It never dies, it can't die. It is a portion of Allah, which is Allah within you, which is God within you. So therefore, we just chant these words on a daily basis, knowing that we are trying to awaken the God within each and every, you know, each and every one of us, in particular, God within me. All right, um, and to stay on that Sadat almost the King, which is the straight and narrow path, as they call it. All right, in Al Fatiha, the opening. So we also chant um, Yahai, Yahai, H A Y Y, Yahai. 
So we chant Yahai, which means um, high means um, life. So we say, oh living, oh life. We also chant Yahuwah, Yahuwah, a Yahoo. Yahoo, 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 Yahoo. Yahoo means basically is the 100th attribute name of Allah. You know, there's 99. The 100th is Yahoo or Yahoo, which means, oh, he who is Allah. Or, oh, um, oh, she who is Allah. Or, oh, it who is Allah. All right. Um, matter of fact, um, Eve name was Yahawa. Ahawa. So Yahuwah is actually the name of Adam. Yahawa is the name of Eve, which becomes Jehovah. Yahweh. Yahivahe in Hebrew. These are these, these names here, right? We also chant Yakahum, 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 Yakahum. All right. The faithful one. We also chant Yakadar, 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 Yakadar. And Yakadar um, basically means, um, um, I guess you could say, the strengthener, the, the one in order to um, help you get the job done, uh, no matter what, the determinator. Yalatif, Yalatif, Yalatif. Yalatif means the subtle one. So it went from hard, which is yakahar, from the hard to the subtle, the soft. All right, then we have yasalihu. Yasalihu um, is essentially, um, basically means, um, oh, he who is um, above all. Okay. So we chant these phrases 100 times or more a day, each one. Oh, and, wow. All right, so this help us to get our mind right, to be in a positive state of mind. And when you find yourself going outside of your state of mind, which is positivity, you begin to start saying these particular um, positive words even more so. Okay, um, I'm going to end here. Are there any questions concerning anything that we talked about? Oh uh, yeah, God. Um, the only the only question that I God mainly had was um was the best way to take these herbs. Um, mm -hmm. I I just ordered some herbs on Friday. Mm -hmm. Um, I ordered um echinacea. Right. I ordered um nettle. Okay. Um, good. Yeah. Um, and mullein and red clover. I I ordered those for it. Right. And, um, I never, I never took herbs before, like, like you know, like real, real herbs before. Like I took in like tea before. Right. You well, know. Well, you know. the same way you can make these into tea, God. The same way you can make these. Oh, okay, in, I can. Mm -hmm, yep. You can just um, whether it comes in a powder form, whether it comes in cut form, or whole form, um, blossom or whatever the case is, you can use or either bark or root. You can use, you can put it about one fourth of a teaspoon to a whole teaspoon in water, um, ball water that is, and make it into a tea and you can cipher it out by using a screen. All right, or either use a teaspoon, um, tea ball screen. 
Oh, okay. All right. So you said like one teaspoon or one fourth of a teaspoon? One fourth. I would say one fourth to one half of a teaspoon to a whole teaspoon, depending on how you have it, whether it's cut, whether it's um, oh, okay. um, right, and how strong you want it to be. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I would want it. Yeah, I would want it to be like you know, as strong as possible. Okay, so you want as strong as possible. That means that you would yes. put um um at least a tablespoon, then in okay. about in about eight to twelve ounces of water. Make sure that it's boiled and hot, and you can put it in there and um let it sit for about five minutes and then drink. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, but um. Right. Right. Some of the herbs you can cook with, but 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 um, which ones did you say you got? Um. I, all right. I got mullet. I got right. the mullet. If, if you I got, got, got if you got red clover, did you say red yep. clover? Red clover you can use um in your food. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. mullen, 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 and nettle. Um, you want to make those into teas. Matter of fact, you can actually combine nettle, mullen, um, yeah, red clover, too. and echinacea all together. You can. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. okay. I'll do that then. Yeah, I'll throw them all in the same one. Right. You can use all that would those. Be even better. Yeah, you can use all of those together. I can see. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a like a um one fourth of a teaspoon of each. Oh, okay, one fourth mm -hmm. teaspoon of each. Right. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely do that, guy, and I'll let and I'll let you know um okay. how you know how everything goes. Right. I'm definitely I'm definitely excited. But I'm waiting for them to come in. <laughs> okay, no doubt, guy. Right. That's def that's definitely helpful, right there, guy. I definitely, pre I really appreciate that. All right, no problem. All right, we'll build Tuesday then, brother. Okay, all right, so I will build Tuesday. Peace, have a good night. All right, you too. Peace. All right. Here you go, baby. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. You're welcome, baby. Thank you, baby. You do? Do it when you can. You shouldn't say that shit, guy. The screen was still on. You recorded.